Welcome to the Monday, November 16th, 2015 edition of Erner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, the market for some larger size Asian white shrimp is down sharply. Then later, we look at the HRI movers of the week. But first, the FDA has released groundbreaking food safety rules. Here with the story is your host, Terrence Wells. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration on Friday took major steps to prevent foodborne illness by finalizing rules implementing the Bipartisan Food Safety Modernization Act that for the first time establishes enforceable safety standards for produce farms and makes importers accountable for verifying that imported food meets U.S. safety standards. The agency also issued a rule establishing a program for the accreditation of third-party certification bodies, also known as auditors, to conduct food safety audits of foreign food facilities. These final rules will help produce farmers and food importers take steps to prevent problems before they occur. For more on the latest actions by the FDA and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. In other news, the market for some larger sized Asian white shrimp is down sharply. Here with the story is Seafood News staff writer Michael Ramsing. In September, average earner berry quotations for 21-25 white count shrimp from Asia were down nearly 57% since 2014. That's a $2 per pound difference in price compared to last September. A 55% surge in 21-25 imported volumes to the market seems to have driven the fall in wholesale prices. By September, the U.S. had imported 58.5 million pounds of 21-25 count shrimp, an all-time record volume for the size. India has served as a key U.S. supplier for the size, accounting for over 60% of the imported volume. Overall, monthly shipments for 21-25s to the U.S. are 24% up, averaging 6.5 million pounds, also a record figure. However, the market did level out in the fourth quarter since average prices declined and held at $4.25 per pound throughout October and so far into November. Steadier wholesale prices over the last six weeks coincided with import prices also holding steady in October and November, according to the Department of Commerce. Get this entire shrimp market story at seafoodnews.com and access more shrimp industry market news using the seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. Now we'll take a look at Ernerberry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's account manager Megan Mick with the latest movers of the week. Shell egg prices continued to increase last week as buyers prepared inventories for the expected holiday sales. Supplies of the popular retail sizes are tight, especially given lingering impacts of HPAI related production losses. Our large quotations advanced more than 9% during the period. With margins squeezed for years, food service operators continue to focus on items that make a more positive impact on their bottom line. This has led them to put more chicken and pork dishes on the menu as prices in these areas have fallen significantly. But beef is still something that consumers look for. With weakness in the overall market, Top Butts lost 7.32% and provided value for HRI buyers. Chicken dark meat values continue to trend lower as demand remains dull. While many processors are deboning their thighs in an attempt to bring more value to their cutout, needs have proven too weak to hold the market steady. Thigh meat is just one of several dark meat items that has yet to show any signs of improvement. Thanks, Megan. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.